guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to do a little DIY on how to create a flower box, really easy, quick, at home without spending a lot, a lot of money on a lot of the brands that are super expensive. So uh, all you're going to need for this is you're going to need some artificial flowers. Now the, the amount that you need is going to depend upon the size of box that you're doing. You're also going to need some ribbon. Um, I just have this Hermes ribbon that I had lying around. So I just thought I'd use this because it gives a bougie vibe and it looks really good. And then for a box, I actually have a heart-shaped box like this. This is actually a leftover box from a Valentine's present that I got a while ago. So I'm just going to use this box. Um, I'm going to try and find some links below for where you can buy these from as well. So stay tuned for that. And what I've seen a lot of these tutorials do is they use like a polystyrene insert or an Oasis box insert. But what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you an easy way to make it without having to order the Oasis or the foam. So I'm just going to take some tissue paper just a normal tissue paper. What I've done is I've bunched it up and I'm putting it inside the box. And this will work with a square box as well. And you just want to fill it so it fills to the top, kind of sort of like that. Um, so you can see from the edge, it's not too low, it's not too deep. Excuse my nails. Ew, I lost one. Gross. Um, so not too deep. And then what you want to do is take your flowers. Now these flowers have little ends on like this. So you can either cut your artificial flowers to this level or you can just stick them in as they were. I guess you could push them through the tissue paper as well. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your flowers and you're just gonna take the pointy end down and you're just gonna place them in like this. And we're just going to keep going with this all the way around. And it's up to you. You can, if you want to have it more into the box, just push it down a bit. So you see you get that. It's not quite so flush. If you want it down more, it's inside the box like that. You can do that as well. I prefer it sort of halfway. So I'm just going to take it halfway. And you just keep adjusting the roses until you're happy with their positions. Just keep placing them in. And I know you're thinking, yeah, but they all look like they're at different levels. But don't worry, when we get to the end, I promise you, it's going to look completely different. So you want to take your roses. Once you're happy with where they're placed, like this, I'm going to put two white ones in the centre. Now again, I know this seems very kind of self-explanatory, but this is really just to show you guys how you can make a rose box at home without having to worry. If you're getting a little sag like I'm getting there, just pull up the tissue paper a bit, poke them down again like this, just until you reach a point with where you're happy. I'm pretty happy with that. I think that looks pretty cute. Um, turn it around just so you can see the actual heart. Here we are. I think it looks really, really cute. And now the next step is to add a ribbon around here. So what you want to do is you want to take your ribbon. It doesn't matter what ribbon. I actually bought an Hermes box off eBay for decor. And this ribbon came inside that box. So I was like, okay, this is a good time to use it. So you want to take your ribbon around the back. Pull it to the front and you want to make sure it's equal at the ends. So you see how at the minute it's not equal. You want to make sure that your ribbon is equal about there. And then once you know that it's equal, you want to make sure it's positioned where you want it. Spin it to the front and the best way I find is to tie a knot first, so that way you have it secure. So you tie a knot, and then you want to make a really pretty bow. Okay. 
Now it's up to you what size you make the bow. You could have a big one, you could have a small one. See, now I kind of like the small one, like this. I think this is quite nice. And it just adds a little bit more elegance to the box. And then these extra ends you can just trim off however you would like them to be. I'm just cut, I'm probably going to cut here and I'm probably going to cut here just where the horse is. Just to add a little bit of cuteness. So this is how you make an at-home flower box, really easy, without foam or oasis. I'll add in some model shots at the end for you as well. I hope you enjoyed this video and please consider subscribing if you did. See you soon guys, bye!